Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to give you an update on a few things. I've been making these videos over and over again for the past few weeks, and I just keep deleting them and not uploading them for various reasons, but whatever. Anyways, first of all, I want to say that I've been booted off of Sermon Audio okay, a week or so ago, whenever January 24th, I got this email. Um, I didn't know until my account was canceled, and then it was like it was like a week or two like after I made a payment for like a new month and uh I was like what's up like I knew I paid for it and I didn't realize I had this uh email so I called them and they told me that it was because of my position on the church because I was speaking bad about church buildings and stuff like that uh also it's a very hev heavily calvinist website and I spoke bad about that they probably didn't like that either so uh but they said it was because of my position on the local church so Oh well, uh, that's fine. I never really used uh, Sermon Audio to its full potential, unfortunately. I I had it for like probably six months or so, but uh, it was expensive and it wasn't really worth keeping. Anyways, I think it was about forty bucks a month, so I I look at it as a blessing, and um, you know it's just gonna save me money now. I have I have SoundCloud and um, Spreaker for MP3s, anyways. So, uh, I like Sermon Audio because there's a lot of sermons on there on different subjects and stuff, and, you know, I've used it, and I'm sure that I'll still continue to use it, but it's unfortunate that they do this. I thought that um, it was good for me to get other points of view on there, you know, biblical points of view, as far as I see it, but anyways, that's that. So, it, it's more of a blessing than anything. It just saves me money, and I can just focus on other things uh, and like I said I never really use it that much anyways so so with that said the next thing that I'm really excited about that I got done this month I feel like you know I haven't really made videos this month but I've been working on the website and I've been working on this menu and this menu on the desktop um, it's now connected to the forum and to the the KJV chat section of the website and so I'm really 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 pleased with this and you know this this makes me happy this month if I didn't get anything else done that I got this done um, so because I spent months trying to figure out how to do something like this okay um, and I'm starting to fill out a lot more pages now there's a lot of sections on here pages that are made but they're they're empty so I'm working on these things but so here's acceptyoubeconverted.com, okay, and you have all this stuff. Now, if you go to Sound Doctrine, Jesus, you know, you want to learn about doctrine, about Jesus, you can click on that, and now it's going to take you to the forum, the kjvforum.com, and here's the section with Jesus Christ, titles and offices, and then whatever other topics are on here, okay, and people can even add stuff to this over time, and I'll add more, and be working on these things but uh, it's really easy for me to edit this menu now um, you know there's there's a lot on here that I'm working on here all these titles and offices all this stuff um, there might be little things on here but I'm gonna go into more detail some of them might be completely empty the gifts of the Holy Spirit uh, so you can see that I have plans to get a lot of stuff on here but I think I'm going to be able to work on this stuff faster and faster now with this menu is really helpful and being able to edit things on the forum, uh, different figures of speech, typology, numerology, all the parables, study by book. Okay, this is uh, going to be the expository studies that I'm working on. Okay, I have every book on here now, but uh, I don't have it all typed out and, and you know obviously this will be a long long project for me but I'm working on more of the New Testament now than I am the old but uh, also if other people want to make you know comments or whatever they can so topics and prayer I'm still adding a lot of stuff to this um, I've added this is going to be sections on the modern versions the modern perversions um, extra biblical books. Okay, I'm going to be adding all of these. Um, 
on there to read and to, to comment on. The Apocrypha. Okay, I've already got these on there now. So if you go to Tobit, then you can actually read the Apocrypha. Okay. And I'll talk more about it. Uh, you know, why it's not not considered scripture and stuff. But I do figure that it's it's worthy of being on here to be examined um, and to know why it's not used as scripture and etc. So all the apocryphal books are on here. Um, Bible history, I'll have a section for that. Um, the church will have a lot of stuff. I decided I'm going to, there's going to be a church history section. There's going to be early church writings, which I'm going to get up here. There's going to be creeds, which I've already got some of the creeds up here. And again, these are just things to be examined. Resources for people to, to use. The Chalcedon Creed. I read that recently for the Person and Natures of Christ, the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed. And I'll have more information on these. For now, I just have the creeds themselves. Um, so that's interesting stuff you might want to check out. I'll have hymns on here and a lot more. The religions, false religion, all these religions I'll, I'll cover. Um, false doctrines that I think that are pretty important and they're pretty popular as well. I'm working on these. The false teachers list, of course, and I've added a section for links in the KJV chat pages here in the message board specifically and uh, other stuff that's useful. So there's that. This menu, it ties everything together. Here's kjvchat.com which basically, you know, it has the chat and the Bible for now and a verse of the day. And there might be more added to this, but there's that. And the menu is still here. So if anybody goes to acceptyoubeconverted.com or if they go to kjvforum.com or if they go to kjvchat.com, the same menu is going to be throughout. Okay. I have to do another process to update the menu on the acceptyoubeconverted.com part but it's it's pretty easily so pretty easy so once i add enough on the forum menu and the the accept you be converted com is also included with the kjv chat so i can easily really easily edit the the menu that's on the forum and then once i add enough then i go to the website editor and then i can update the menu on the KJV chat and the accept to be converted part. Okay. Anyways, there's all that. I'm really pleased with this menu though. Um, really happy about this. It's going to help get so much more done. Neater, faster. So things are still going to take time, but there's that. And, you know, there's this stuff in the main. The mp3s and stuff will be there for now and i'm not sure what i'm doing with the home page yet i'm not going to leave the sermon audio thing up there i just thought i'd toss that up there for now but anyway there's all that another thing that i want to make mention of is i started talking to michael again and if anybody's been praying for him good things have been coming about in his life he sent me a letter and said that um well, he wanted me to send him a letter of a list of churches because he needs some place to go when he gets out of prison. When he's on parole, he needs somewhere to go. And so I kind of stalled on that because I kind of quit talking to him for a little while. He also wanted me to send him, um, he wanted me to print out some papers on how to like rebuild an engine or something for his truck. And I did that and I had the list of churches made up. Um, you know, I don't agree with church buildings and stuff, but I figured, you know, if this is something that he needs to do, I tried to find, like, the best ones I could find, like, KJV-only church buildings and stuff. And so I had them ready and stuff, but I kind of stalled on sending them, but I think it was kind of a blessing that I did anyways. Um, I eventually ended up sending them, 
a couple weeks ago or whatever, and he wrote me back and he said that the stuff for the truck is what he needed, but his truck got sold, and uh, but his he's happy because his parents are going to let him stay with them, and his dad's going to help him get a job in a factory. So that sounds really good. I guess he's really not that close to his parents or something. He's really happy that they're actually helping him. I'm not sure if he's adopted or what. But um, I just recently got my income taxes, and I decided to send him some books. Because I sent him books when he was in jail. And I sent him one before he got transferred that he asked me if I could send it to him when he's in prison because he really liked it and he wanted to read it, finish reading it and study it more. And it, it has to do with uh, witnessing and it's called, or apologetics, it's called tactics. And it talks basically about how to deal with like atheists and stuff, some common arguments they might have and uh, just how to share the gospel in general. And uh, so it's a pretty resourceful book, and he liked it. So um, so I decided to send him that, along with some other books and a Bible, which he probably already has a Bible, but I figured I'd send him a nice King James Bible. It's like large print and red letters for the Christ words. And send him some money. So uh, I figure I'm going to start writing him again, and every time when I print out notes to do videos and stuff, I'm going to send him those notes, and you know, I'm just going to start writing them again and stuff. So he's he's going to be in there probably for another eight months. So thanks, guys, for, for those of you who have prayed for him. I think that um, good things are happening with him. And uh, so I'm just going to continue talking to him and trying to help him. And so I got in a section for him, again, on here. And so if you go to Witnessing and you go to Prison Ministry, I just added this. You go to Witnessing, Prison Ministry, then go to Inmates. Okay, and then in the future, hopefully other people who have family members or friends or, or whatever, they can add people. And, or if Michael can tell me other people who want pen pals and stuff in prison I can put them in here uh, he said he's fine with this and everything so you click on Michael Howe and then it's gonna have all this information here okay here's his inmate ID and here's the inmate address if you want to send him something or write to him or whatever here's the inmate search okay if you want to see pictures of him see why he's in there how long he's in there and everything you can do that and to send him funds, here, here are different ways to send him funds. Okay, I use JPay, um, but there's that. So it's witnessing, prison ministry, inmates, and then Michael Howe, if anybody's interested in supporting him at all. Um, you know, just a few bucks can go a long way in prison, too. I mean, I've never been to prison, but I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm just guessing, because... I know that's how it is in jail, you know, just to be able to buy a pen and paper or to buy stamps or letters or to buy a phone card so he can talk to his daughter or something, you know, anything could be a big blessing for him. So one more thing I want to talk about is there was, there's been a little bit of stuff going on this month with my vehicle and stuff, my breath machine. I finally got my breath machine returned and that means that there's pretty much nothing else in the way of me getting my license reinstated as far as I know except for um, time and I got to talk to my lawyer they've got to set everything up we'll have to go to a hearing I don't know how soon or how long that's gonna be it could be a few months away for all I know or it could be maybe just a month away but uh, I'm not expecting it to be anytime soon because stuff takes a long time with court and everything usually so uh, but as far as I know everything's good and I'm excited and I'm glad I don't have to deal with that breath machine anymore because it was just a pain and another thing is that I've been consistently trying to get a job at Dollar General for like over a year now. Because I had an interview, it sounded good, it's a part-time, like working weekends on nights. And I thought that would be good to help me get some money, help me get some retail experience. And at the same time, still allow me free time to work hard on the ministry and also so I can maybe mow yards, maybe do side work also. Um, 
and explore those avenues. If I get my license back, you know, maybe I can mow yards in other towns and stuff and I can make money that way too. And that kind of gives me some freedom because in a way I'm like my own boss. So, uh, and plus I want to keep my, my seasonal job with UPS for now. Um, so I thought this just seems to have benefits all over it, but I get rejected at a lot of retail places because of my background. So right now, uh, I'm waiting for my background check to be approved, so I could definitely use your prayers on that one. I really hope that I get this. It seems really good to me, but you know, maybe, maybe there's, I'm sure there's, there's probably a better things too, but, uh, this is something that I've kind of wanted and, uh, I hope it'll work out. So Friday, it'll be, it should be like 10 days since I've sent it in on Friday. And the manager said if she doesn't hear back by then, then she can call him and tell him to speed up the process. Um, so she said if I get declined because of my background check, then I should know before her and I'll get like a letter in the mail. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But she thinks that, she thinks that since UPS hired me that they should have no problem hiring me. Um, but we'll see. So I could use your guys' prayers trying to get this job and uh, just to keep doing studies and everything. So I'm pressing forward. Sorry, I haven't been making a lot of videos, but I have been working on studies pretty hard. I got a lot of stuff that I need to to get out, but uh, I'm looking forward to ne next month and see how that works. Um, but that's probably all I want to say, I guess. I'm not on Sermon Audio anymore. The website's getting way better. And, um, hope you liked the last video that I made on the person and natures of Christ. And I should be making one soon on the deity of Christ, which is going to be a bunch of sections. And there's so much more that I need to, to go over. Things that I've started. And new things that I want to talk about. So. Just thanks for your support, guys. Keep me in your prayers. I'll keep praying for you guys. And, uh. You know, that's another thing, too. I started these prayer videos, these audio, when, I was, when I'm, when i like, praying and recording it. And I want to do that, that mo more, but just with all this stuff going on, just been focused on the website, it's going to take me some time to get back into all that. But that's, that's all part of the plan. So thanks, guys, and God bless.